Next weekend, Batman versus Superman. Uh, yeah, we were making plans on whether or not, or how we're yeah, going to go well, see you're, it. Well, you're going to go working. to the theater after work, and you're going to get the tickets tomorrow. Uh, and I guess it just, it, you know, do we go to 2D or we'd go to 3D? Right. Because uh, traditionally, I haven't been a big fan of 3D. Uh, I think it's a gimmick. I think it generally looks like it's just sort of stapled onto a 2D movie, and it feels like an excuse to charge you more money for glasses that I'm gonna steal anyway. By the way, um, I have less of a problem with 3D. I, I kind of enjoy it. It depends on how the movie uses it. I don't like a whole lot of "Hey, it's a 3D movie. Here you go" type of stuff. But right. I like a good organic. I think uh, I thought. Uh, Oz handled it really well. Yeah, um, I loved it in Star Wars Episode Seven. Yeah, uh, it was that was Star Wars Episode Seven is the first movie I saw in 3D that I felt like that worked. That act that really helped enhance the movie. Um, I mean, Mad Max was pretty good about it. There was some, you know. It, it, there was it, one. It helped. It's 3D. The, yeah, scene. the thing that 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 was the one shot that took me out of the narrative in Mad Max is like right towards the end when uh, Nux crashes the fucking uh, the the rig, the rig yeah. with the uh, with the amplifiers and shit on it and uh, the steering wheel and the guitar all rubber band at you and then pop back. I fucking hated that shot. Mm -hmm. That's like the one thing out of that whole movie that made me go, really? Because other than that, I absolutely adored it. I, mm -hmm. you know, I, you know how much I love that fucking movie. So that was, you know, that was the one disappointing thing. But they did such a good, subtle job of it in Star Wars. Because in Star Wars, it was definitely there, but it was there to enhance the movie, not to stick special effects in your fucking face. Yeah, I mean, there was one thing that was up in your face, but it was supposed to be because it's a giant Star Destroyer. Yeah, the the one shot where the star, the nose of the Star Destroyer is kind of sticking out of the, the fucking screen. Yeah. I and mean, it was an obvious 3D shot, but it looked really nice. Yeah. And 3D really helped like with the sense of depth in all the space shots. Uh, or going through hyperspace. I mean, the tunnel looked infinitely far away. Mm -hmm. You know, and it looked like the ship was going down that fucking tunnel. That shit looked good. You yeah. know, because it, it wasn't overt and it, it wasn't, you know, shoving it in your face and screaming, look, 3D, look, 3D. <laughs> it was just, it was really nice. I liked it. I, I enjoyed uh, the subtle utility of it. Mm -hmm. in that particular movie so kind of hoping batman versus superman will do that like um the uh the one shot of batman grappling onto the wall and then uh the zipping away just as the wall gets blasted mm -hmm. might look kind of cool in 3d yeah yeah um so the the question is, would you prefer to go see it in 3D or would you prefer to go see it in 2D? For the see, first I don't time know because 3D hasn't won me over quite enough to <laughs> assume that it's going to be done in an artistically satisfying manner. You're right. In, or, in an you organic know, cause manner. There's, yeah, because it, it could still end up being bad. Yeah. Like when Superman rips the fucking doors off of the, the Batmobile and throws them. I'm really fearful of a shot of the Batmobile door wickering through the air at you. Yeah. 
Because that's that's such an easy, cheap shot for them to take. <laughs> or he's just holding it and it's just like right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, almost as bad as the, the cheap shot of some guy with a knife going, Hey, check this thing out. Look at that. It's a knife. Whoa. <laughs> God, all the 80s. Remember all the 80s 3D movies that came out? Yes. Right around Fucking Jaws 3D. Yes. And, and no, shit was all just Friday the 13th. 3D, <laughs> and the the one the one with the spear comes right at the screen. Yeah, yeah. And it's obviously like on a line because spears don't <laughs> spears don't wobble through the air in a circular fucking motion like that. Yeah, uh, no, it's it's some oh, terrible man. shit. So it's <coughs> Star Wars really impressed me with the 3D. Mad Max kind of impressed me with the 3D because there was shots in there that looked good. You know, like the the motorcycle guys through the canyon. That's mm -hmm. you know that's a cool action sequence to apply 3D to. I get that. Um, you know, but that's two movies out of how fucking many that they made. Yeah. Like Avatar. Fuck Avatar. That was awful. <laughs> it was absolutely awful because you. The, the 3D was just kind of stitched on at the last minute. I mean, it, I remember shots in Avatar where their 3D was literally like two panels just kind of stuck out from everything else in the, the fucking military guy's control center mm -hmm. and just going, what? why the fuck did I pay extra for this? Fuck you guys. I kept their glasses. Yeah. I've kept a few glasses. I've, uh... It's mostly it's the ones with like the writing on it, like the Hobbit mm -hmm. ones that we got mm -hmm. and stuff. Oh yeah, I still got my Superman pair. Oh yeah, Superman. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I'm okay with seeing it in 3D. So I'll see I, if I can so get 3D. So am I. So am I. If you can get in 3D, you know, uh, we'll go. We'll go do that. Um, and then should we go for Friday after work or Saturday after work? Um, try for Friday after work. If you can't, then Saturday. Okay. Friday might be better. Or might be better because I'll get done earlier. Yeah. So, alrighty. Well, that's settled. Yeah. Thank you for, no, for you joining us for this argument. Uh, and hey, go see Batman vs. Superman. Uh, apparently, it's going to be awesome. Yeah. Wonder Woman. And it's, how much of the Justice League is going to be in that? Uh, is it one, just... One, two, three, four, five, six. Batman, Superman, Aquaman, Wonder, Wonder Woman, Woman, Cyborg... Oh, is Cyborg gonna? And be Flash. In? Is, so those the last two are supposed to just make quick background quick cameo appearances. Background cameos, where it's their characters, but not necessarily them. And then uh, I think Aquaman probably will show up at the end of the movie. Yeah. To kind of go. Because they're gonna want to lead into to Aquaman. Go, fuck you, fuck you, Wonder Woman. Our our things are at war with each other, whatever. And then right, they'll be like, no, let's all hug and go beat up Doomsday. That's my theory. I yeah, don't know. Right on. But uh, anyway, so we'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Doodles. Mm -hmm.